You've got to admire the passion of 18-year-old Will Shackle. You've met him on this program many times, a high school student who founded Nuclear for Australia to promote a sensible, mature debate around the benefits of nuclear power. He's on the road speaking with local communities in Queensland. Last night it was in Gladstone and tonight he's going to speak with uh, the community in Biloela. He joins me now live from Biloela. Thanks for joining us, Will. Uh, tell us about the reception you got in Gladstone. That's a, a big energy and industrial town, um, are they uh, willing to, uh, to countenance the idea of uh, nuclear energy or even a nuclear reactor in, in their neighbourhood? Well, look, there was a lot of people at our event last night, but we got a lot of positive feedback. There was some mixed receptions. We had some anti-nuclear people there. We also had a lot of pro-nuclear people there. But I think the important thing, Chris, was a majority of them were pro-nuclear. In a community like Gladstone, which is a huge industrial hub, they require reliable, abundant energy. And as we uh, try to deal with climate change, Increasingly, they are lo also looking to clean energy. So nuclear is a really, really good solution for them. So we're really glad to have our experts, AD, Keith and Robert, up here in Gladstone. We're going to do it again tonight here in Biloela, sharing information and allowing the community to get their questions answered about nuclear energy. As you know, New South Wales and therefore the whole national electricity grid is short on supplies as we speak because the warm weather increases demand. The Energy Minister, Chris Bowen, has been trying to blame this on coal generators, saying that a couple of them are offline at the moment. They're the problem. Surely the problem is we don't have enough dispatchable generation. This is exactly what a nuclear program would be aiming to solve. Well, look, nuclear is one of the most reliable energy sources. When you look at it, the capacity factor of a nuclear plant in the US, they can be online producing full power around 93% of the time. That's even more than coal, and that's significantly more than renewables like solar or wind, which are dependent on the weather. So having a firm baseload source of electricity like nuclear power, I think would really help mitigate some of these incidents in Australia. We're such a lucky country here in Australia. We shouldn't have to have the risk of blackouts. We are a developed nation. This is simply not good enough. And Chris Bowen needs to be accountable for it and consider lifting the ban on nuclear energy. Now, Will, uh, you're 18 now. I think you started this organisation when you were still 16, right? You finished your year 12 today. You got the, your exams out of the way and graduation before hitting the road on this. I, I just admire your energy. What are you planning over the next year or so? What are you hoping to do at, at uni and the like? Yeah, look, I'm going, going to plan to go down to ANU, so hopefully I can do some interesting things there. But the priority right now is making sure that we can get this nuclear debate over the line, making sure that the ban is lifted. It's never been a more important time for us to be able to lift the ban on nuclear energy. Chris, the rest of the world is going nuclear. 50 countries for the first time are looking at nuclear energy, some of the biggest companies in the world. So it's really important that we win this debate right now. And for that reason, I'd encourage people to join our more than 77,000 supporters at nuclearforaustralia.com. Good on you, Will. All power to your arm. Happy travels. Thanks, Chris. Great to catch up with Will Shackle there as he uh, talks up nuclear, as you just heard. He's in Biloela in Western Queensland. What an amazing young bloke. Uh, uh, look out, ANU, he's coming your way.